Hey YouTube, got another video review for you today. Um, I've got a special guest today. She don't want to be seen on the camera. She's my girlfriend. She's really, really shy, but she is going to be drawing uh, The Little Mermaid. She's a really talented artist and uh, she's drawn some stuff uh, that just totally amazes me. So I told her, I said, why don't you just find a picture of something on your phone that you'd like to draw and uh, just... Uh, just try it and see what you think. And uh, if you get a good reaction, then we'll uh, maybe start a, a, a drawing channel or something like that. But uh, as you can see, she uses nothing fancy. It's just regular notebook paper, just a regular ink pen, and just a regular mechanical pencil. You know, no fancy, no fancy materials. So I'm going to let her go ahead and get started and uh, take it away. Okay. I'll go in and zoom in a little bit. And what she normally does is just starts and does an outline first and doesn't put a whole lot of detail in it till the very end. And, uh, you know, we might get to a point where we'll have to come back and do a part two. But uh, just bear with us and, uh, you know, we'll show you how it looks. Doing her hair first. <laughs> Picture wants to keep going away. She has a signature bang situation there. And as you guys can see, there's no trace lines or nothing. She's just freehanding this. And it's pretty amazing because I would have already ripped up about 10 pieces of paper and used a bunch of cuss words. <laughs> but it seems like it goes really easy for her. Not easy. Just, I don't know. Don't let her fool you. She's very talented. Sometimes I have to go back and reshape her face. <laughs> Might get her cheekbone too high or not high enough. In this case, not high enough. <laughs> Try to keep the lines soft till I know where I'm putting them for sure. Plus, I will say that this is this is take one. This is her first time being on camera, first time on really uh, drawing on YouTube, and so no <laughs> pressure. That's your disclaimer for my weird talking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she does some nervous talking, but it's all right. Plus, she's having a fight with the, the phone to uh, keep the picture from disappearing. All right. Almost, almost to her face now. 
My favorite part to draw is the eyes. One of the eyes? Because they give it so much life. And if you don't get the eyes right, if they're not shaped right, oftentimes it doesn't look like the person you're trying to draw. And um, if you're not able to put light in their eyes, they look dead and kind of just lifeless. <laughs> Sorry about the noise folks, uh, that's my refrigerator. It makes these uh, tells from the crypt uh, sounds <laughs> when the ice maker kicks on. It really does. It's too funny. I don't know what kind of sound that one is. That's the water filling up the uh, ice tray. We were laying in bed the other night and uh, she said, I heard something. So I jumped up in the middle of the night with my gun and go <laughs> running through the house trying to figure out if there's somebody broke in or not. And uh, no, it was just the refrigerator. Can't help it if I'm paranoid. Okay, I'm going to fix her eyelashes. Got a little out of hand with them. Heavy handed. We've been throwing the football around today, so I kind of have a little bit of weak arm situation now. There's that eye. And now for the other eye. But first I gotta draw our nose in there. <clears throat> I think of all the Disney princesses, Ariel has the cutest face. That could be debated on that by people, but that's my opinion on it. Her nose is cute. Yeah. Her lips are too. The true Little Mermaid story is pretty disturbing. I'm glad Disney didn't go with that version. What's that? Um, basically, uh, the Little Mermaid, I, I can't remember all of it, but it's like really dark. It's a grim, grim fairy tales uh, tale originally, so it's, it's pretty dark. Or no, wait, I think it might have been Hans Christian Andersen. I can't remember, but either way, it's pretty dark. Okay, her mouth isn't quite right. Um, kind of just like Move this beer on me again. her hair swooping around okay. 
kind of going back over the lines and giving it more of a hard line once I've decided I want to leave it there. So that's what I'm doing now. So you go back at the end and do it with pencil? I mean pen? Usually, if I'm if it's a like a a drawing that I want to look done and finished. <clears throat> I don't normally do my done and finished drawings on notebook paper, but if I'm giving them for a gift or something, I do them on like cardstock or some sort of uh, weighted copy paper. Hmm. But it does go to show you that uh, if you're out there and you're wanting to draw, you ain't got to have all those fancy materials to do it on. You know, it's sure. pretty crazy. I grew up drawing on notebook paper. That was my favorite thing to draw on. I think it kind of helps me with the lines to, like, give me kind of a spatial guide. Because when you have just a blank white canvas, it's just, like, so much empty space. You don't have any lines of reference. So these, even though... People don't typically want to see lines. You know, it helps. It helps me, I think, to be able to know where I'm drawing. But before we made the video, she did tell me to give her some copy paper. But I, I wanted her just <laughs> to use a notebook because I wanted, you know, you guys to see at home that hey, you know, if you're starting out drawing, you can, you can use anything. Yeah, definitely. Don't go spend a bunch of money before you know how to draw. You want to practice on, you know, whatever you have that you don't have to spend a lot on. Worry about that when you get good. <laughs> good. We got a takeout box about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, from somewhere where we ate at. I don't even remember where it was, but... Uh, it ended up on the kitchen table here and she started drawing on it <laughs> and turned out amazing so I told her I was like hey you gotta you gotta draw me some pictures <laughs> it's kind of a tradition I have of drawing on um, to go boxes if I ever get one that's you know blank on top <clears throat> I'm always trying to draw something on it it's just fun I just like to do it Now for her hand, hands are always kind of hard for me. I think they're kind of hard for everybody because you have so many bends in your hand and if you don't do it right, it can look like a claw. <laughs> so, don't want to do it too crazy. I don't know about that pinky. <laughs> Disney always does that weird thing with their hands where they almost make them look like they're doing the like live long and prosper, you know, Dr. S or not Dr. Spock, Spock but the Spock symbol or something. I'm not sure why they always do that. I've not seen anybody in real life do their hands like this, <laughs> but yeah, Disney princesses do. Let's see, they didn't draw her joints, so I better not do that. Hmm. Got my fingers a little out there. Stuff looks a little weird. I'm gonna leave it. No, I'm gonna bring it in. <laughs> That's a little better. 
Fingers are a delicate, delicate thing to draw. Still looking a little odd, but I'm going to leave it alone. Maybe. Did this. Hmm. So you got to put the thumb in there. It doesn't have a thumb in this one. No. Oh. Wow. It's hidden. I oh, guess mermaids don't have a thumb. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the point of view that they're showing her hand from. It's it's like when you're do, doing it like that, you show it from that point of view. And it looks like I have four fingers. I don't know if that showed in the camera, but <laughs> either All right. way. Alright, moving on from the hand. Um, now, she's in kind of a odd stance, so I'm trying to map that out. Her other shoulder. Oftentimes, a lot of people consider it harder to draw people at a three-quarter angle, but <clears throat> I'm just used to drawing them at a three-quarter angle. So I prefer to do them that way. But, you know, if you draw someone at a three-quarter angle, angle, then this shoulder will be out farther than this one will be. So it'll look odd at first, but that's all about perspective. Okay, now... Yeah. There's one side of it. You know what? <laughs> Try to start a little shorter. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to let her continue to draw, but I'm going to show you the picture. <laughs> I'll zoom in on the picture and you can kind of see uh, just how it looks just like it. It's ridiculous. It's getting there. <laughs> so, I'm going to set it back down and let her get back to drawing. Sorry if this is taking too long. No, you're only 18 minutes. It's not not long. Shading and depth. Alright, so there's that part. And then she's got the back. That's her strap. She called him strapped. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. I'm back again. Hold on. <laughs> Mm. 
now. <clears throat> Give her tail thingy. I'm not sure what this is called. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and throw a plug in here for um, if this uh, video makes it out and somebody from Walt Disney happens to see it, uh, <laughs> please put some uh, comments in there and uh, you can definitely get in touch with me <laughs> through my channel. <laughs> Or if somebody needs an illustration for a children's book. Actually, uh, she writes children's books and uh, she's got one novel she's working on right now as well. So, multi-talented artist and writer and uh, pretty amazing. Got the hardest part over. Her face is the hardest part. <clears throat> and then her hands. I just still have one more hand to do, but I'm getting closer to done now. Trying to figure out which way her tail's swooshing. It's going this way. There we go. Mm -hmm. I would have totally messed that up. She would have looked like a Kardashian. <laughs> With a booty, I would have drew on her. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to give her a little bit more of one. Just because it does look like she has a little more of one in the, video, or in the picture. And you got to have good glutes if you're swimming around all the time. What? Do fish have glutes, though? <laughs> no clue. They're not exactly just fish. They might have to have some. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, a little more curve back there. <laughs> Got to get it just right for you. My milkshake brings all the fish to the pond. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so there's crook of her arm, and uh, <sighs> Disney's afraid to draw those booby curves, but I'm not. <laughs> Disney just likes putting hidden pictures. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of that. Like, uh, on the cover of their VHS tape when this came out. Oh, yeah. There was a hidden phallus in the picture. Mm hmm. I remember hearing something about that. that hand that's about right 
Hmm, no for detail. So let me swoop down here. We're almost done, folks. <clears throat> Sorry if I moved this out of frame. <laughs> I'm trying not to. It's all right. Some lines. I kind of swoops <laughs> there. Okay. All right. I think that's about the shape of it. Well, do you want to? Go ahead and jump into the pan. Do I have time? Or, or do you want to? Uh, I think we should just make it a part two. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> you guys can. Oh, I'm finish your hair. You guys can see again. There is the picture. I'm just winging her hair from what I remember. Because I didn't finish it. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this turned out <clears throat> really amazing. I mean, this is just a 30 minute drawing, freehand, you know, no book paper <laughs> and simple materials. And just look at that. Don't know if my phone will uh, zoom in. She looks a little more grown up in the face than she does in that one, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. She's aged, so. And you're you're not trying to draw it spot on. I mean, yeah. because, I mean, you can see on her eyes are looking back this way, where she's kind of looking forward this way. So, you're not trying to draw exact. You're just trying, trying to draw that person, mm -hmm. you know, in a different look, similar. So. Okay, so, not so, I think it looks pretty good. <clears throat> But, Oop, sorry. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, about to tear the tripod down, and uh, we're going to make probably a part two of this. So, anyways, please like and subscribe. And if you like to see this, hey, put it in the comments. You know, uh, if you think it's great, if you think it's horrible, put it in there. We want to hear from you. See uh, exactly what you guys think. And uh, please like and subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit the notification bell at the top right so you get all my future videos and her future videos and uh that's it guys thanks for watching